Virgil Walter Earp lived a life full of conflict, but he met each challenge head on, and even if he did not emerge as the clear winner, he at least survived what was thrown at him. Virgil was born in Kentucky on July 18, 1843. His early years were spent working on the family farm. In 1862, he enlisted in the 83rd Regiment of the Illinois Volunteer Infantry during the Civil War. Virgil survived many skirmishes during the war and left the military on June 24, 1865. When Virgil returned, he found that his wife, Ellen Rysdam, was gone, and with her went their daughter, Nellie Jane. Ellen's parents were Dutch and did not approve of the marriage to Virgil. While he was away at war, Ellen's parents lied to her and said that Virgil had been killed in action, and so they moved away to the northwest United States. Virgil wouldn't reunite with his first wife and daughter until 1899, after receiving a letter from Nellie the year before. Virgil would have two more wives. His second wife was Rosella Drago, about whom little is known, and his third wife was Elvira Allie Sullivan. Allie would be with Virgil from 1874 until his death in 1905. Over the years, Virgil would be a stagecoach driver, a mail rider, a night watchman, and sold lumber. In July of 1877, Virgil would settle near Prescott, Arizona. In October of 1877, Virgil was a member of a posse that killed two outlaws named Wilson and John Talos. In 1878, he became one of Prescott's two constables. Virgil was appointed as Deputy U.S. Marshal on November 27, 1879. It was around this time that Virgil would move to Tombstone, Arizona, along with his brothers. Of course, it was the events at Tombstone that made Virgil Earp famous. He became the city marshal of Tombstone, was a participant in the gunfight near the OK Corral, where he was wounded through the calf of his right leg. During the night of December 28, 1881, Virgil was ambushed as he was walking down Allen Street. The would-be assassins fired shotguns, which crippled Virgil's left arm. His brother Morgan would be assassinated on March 18, 1882. On March 20th, 1882, Virgil would leave Arizona on the train from Tucson. One of the members of the cowboy gang, Frank Stilwell, was at the train station waiting to ambush the Earps. Wyatt Earp, accompanied by Doc Holliday, discovered Stilwell and killed him. Virgil would not be involved in the Earp vendetta ride that followed. Virgil and Allie went to California and began living in the city of Colton. Virgil would continue his career as a lawman, first being elected as a constable and then becoming the town marshal in 1887. In 1889, he resigned as marshal, and over the next six years, Virgil and Allie would move to San Luis Obispo, then to Vanderbilt, and then to Cripple Creek, Colorado. Virgil was constantly looking to open a gambling house and saloon. When those three towns failed as business opportunities, Virgil once again turned to Prescott, Arizona, and invested in the Grizzly Mine. It was at the Grizzly Mine in November of 1896 that Virgil would once again narrowly escape death. Virgil Earp seriously hurt. Prescott, Arizona, November 19. Virgil Earp, one of the Earp brothers, who figured prominently in the early history of Tombstone as officers in their fearless dealing with cowboys and stage robbers, had a narrow escape from being killed in a mine yesterday. He has been engaged in mining here for several months, and yesterday a cave of rock occurred, burying him beneath it. He was unconscious for several hours, his right hip being dislocated, both feet badly crushed, and a serious cut on his head besides other bruises. The doctor thinks he will pull through, but will be laid up for several weeks. By the end of January, Virgil was doing much better. Virgil Earp has recovered from the effect of his recent accident sufficiently to be able to be around on crutches. 
His feet were both very badly mashed, his hip injured, and he was bruised all over, remaining unconscious for several hours after the accident occurred. Virgil's experience with the Grizzly Mine did not discourage him from seeking his fortune in frontier mining towns. In July of 1904, Virgil and Allie moved to Goldfield, Nevada, the site of a new gold rush. Virgil's plans to open a saloon there were dashed when he realized it would cost more money than he had. Virgil turned to gambling, which also proved unsuccessful. Thankfully, Virgil was hired on as a special officer at the National Club to monitor the high-stakes gambling going on there. Virgil would become a deputy sheriff for Esmeralda County on January 26, 1905. This was the last time Virgil would be sworn in as a lawman. In February, Virgil became sick with pneumonia, and even though he recovered, he had a relapse in October. Virgil would die from pneumonia on October 19, 1905, at the St. Mary's Hospital in Goldfield. From the Goldfield News and Weekly Tribune, Goldfield, Nevada, October 20th, 1905. Makes final camp. Virgil Earp has followed the trail across the Great Divide. A noted frontier character crossed the Great Divide yesterday in the person of Virgil Earp. In the early days of Tombstone, Arizona, from 1879 to 1882, when that famous camp vied with Leadville in being the toughest camp on earth, the Earp boys, consisting of Wyatt, Morgan, Virgil, Warren, James, and one other whose name the writer cannot now recall, were among the best-known men in Arizona. All of them would fight at the drop of the hat, and two of their number, Morgan and Warren, were killed in personal altercations. Wyatt, who was afterward Marshal of Tombstone and one of the pioneers of Nome, Alaska, is residing today in Searchlight, and James lives in Sawtell, near the soldier's home in Los Angeles County, California. The father of the boys, as they have always been called, a veteran of the Civil War, lives at the soldier's home and is enjoying a ripe old age. During one of the scrimmages of the Earp boys in the Tombstone days, the Lowry brothers and Billy Clanton were killed. For more than a year past, the deceased, Virgil Earp, a quiet, unassuming man, has been engaged as special officer at the National Club in Goldfield. He endeared himself to all who knew him and left behind him a host of friends. And Clark B. Stocking, an old-timer in Arizona who knew him well, gives him a very high character. The deceased was ill only a short time with pneumonia and died at the age of 62 years after having led a more exciting life than comes to the average man. This obituary got a few things wrong. First, it was Virgil who was the city marshal of Tombstone, not his brother Wyatt. The author listed all of the Earp brothers who had been in Tombstone. The only brother he didn't list was Newton Jasper Earp, who was a half-brother and had not been in Tombstone. And it was the McLowry brothers, not the Lowry brothers. Another obituary was published for Virgil Earp in California. From the Los Angeles Herald, Los Angeles, California, October 29, 1905. Hears of Death of Earp. Father, a famous gunfighter, lives at the soldier's home in Sawtell. Sawtell, October 28th. Word has been received here of the death of Virgil Earp at Goldfield, Nevada. Earp was 63 years of age. He died after a day's illness with pneumonia. Mr. Earp's father is a member of Company D of the Soldier's Home here, and besides his father, he leaves a wife and three brothers, Wyatt, Morgan, and Newton. Virgil Earp was one of the noted Earps of early Arizona, and while located at Tombstone, he had achieved a great reputation as a gunfighter. In his capacity as United States Marshal, he was compelled to kill several men. Virgil Earp was born in Illinois and will be buried at Portland, Oregon, in compliance with his request. 
There were also a few mistakes in this obituary. Virgil was 62 years old when he died. The article mentioned that he was survived by three brothers, Wyatt, Morgan, and Newton. Morgan had died in 1882. It was James, Wyatt, and half-brother Newton who were still alive. And Virgil was born in Hartford, Kentucky, not in Illinois. Other newspapers also carried articles about Virgil's death. In Prescott, Arizona, the article was titled, Fearless Ranger Succumbs to Death. The obituary from the Portland, Oregonian newspaper was also carried in an Indiana and Ohio newspaper. Virgil Earp Dead, Adventurous Career of Tombstone's Famous Chief of Police. The Sedalia Democrat of Sedalia, Missouri published Virgil Earp Dead, Adventurous Career of Tombstone Man, a famous chief of police. The death of Virgil W. Earp, who is one of the notorious men of the West. And in Decatur, Illinois, it was published, Earp of Western Fame, Dead. The controversy surrounding the Earps in Arizona followed Virgil to the grave, and not everyone remembered him fondly. The Bisbee Daily Review of Bisbee, Arizona published, Bad Man Cashes in His Checks, End of Virgil Earp, Who Made History in Tombstone. According to this article, Virgil belonged to the noted Earp Gang, which was a terror to the peaceable citizens of Tombstone, and was considered the most dangerous man of the Earp Gang, and was a dead shot with a revolver or rifle. This article got quite a few things wrong. It said, The Earp brothers first attracted attention at Fort Dodge, Kansas, where they were parties to many shooting scrapes. It was Dodge City, Kansas, not Fort Dodge, and the only shooting scrape any of the Earp brothers had in Dodge City was when Wyatt Earp and James Masterson shot and wounded George Hoy in 1878. Hoy would later die from his wounds. It said that the Earp brothers went to California, and none of them having ever returned to the territory. As has already been stated, Virgil Earp returned to Arizona and lived there, and his brother, Warren Earp, returned to Arizona. Warren was killed in Wilcox, Arizona in 1900. This article also got Virgil's birthplace wrong, saying it was in Illinois, and said that he was survived by Wyatt, Morgan, and Newton. Virgil Earp was buried in the Riverview Cemetery in Portland, Oregon, at the request of his daughter, Nellie Jane, who lived in Portland. Virgil Earp's first wife and his daughter would both be buried at the same cemetery. Virgil Earp had survived the Civil War, one of the most famous gunfights of the Wild West, an assassination attempt, and a mine collapse. He served as a lawman in many different capacities throughout his life, from being a constable to being a deputy United States Marshal. Virgil was always active, always seeking out a new boomtown to try his fortune. Virgil Earp lived on the frontier, and there he died, his life becoming the stuff of legend.